Yo, so the analog Mega SG came out, but I worked all day yesterday, so I couldn't unbox it. But the time has come. The day is now. The time is now. It was left outside my house all day. Fortunately, no one stole it. So let's get to it. Have some weird tape here. It's not clear. Very unusual. I don't see this kind of tape very often. Analog goes above and beyond. Oh yes. This is tricky. <laughs> Very tricky. I'm doing this all on my computer desk. It's very kind of fine here. Let's make life a little easier. Let's move back. Packing material. Packing material. I see the unit. Oh, yes. Mega SG. And the weird brown tape. It's not masking tape because it's has a glossy feel. I don't know what it's called. Shipping tape is usually clear, right? Very good packaging. All the corners seem intact. No rounded corners. I like how it's white, black, and blue. These are my favorite colors right here. Oh, yes. I think we could put our attention more towards the analog SG now. Mega SG. It's designed like Apple boxes, so, but it's much easier. It slides right up. There's a nice little foam thingy here. Nice touch. Oh, this looks pretty sick. So, if you saw my unboxing of the 8-bit do controller I mentioned that I was gonna get the white analog mega SG and here it is oh yes hear this satisfying sound Oh, yes. It's sticky. Not too sticky. So, 
it'll probably track dust on it, so I, I want to put it back on. Feels pretty heavy. I feel like it feels a little lighter than the Analog Super NT. I don't know why that is, but. You have a little, you have some text here. It says FPGA NTSC PAL 48 kilohertz 16 bit 1080 72480 PhD. Ooh, look at the, I don't know if it's actual gold, but look at the controller connection pins. Looks golden. Oh, you can have a headphone jack. This wasn't on the Super NT. This might be an SD card slot, regular SD full size. You have your micro USB for power. And you have your regular HDMI for audio and video. You have a cool checkerboard look. Maybe they were emulating the Sega Master System boxes. It was designed in United States and United Kingdom, but made in China. Oh well, can't have it all. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, so this lifts out. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't know what I would call this material. I guess it's plastic. Got some dust here. This is a spacer for a Sega CD. I don't have a Sega CD, so where is it? Oh, this is a mouse pad. Wait, or a spacer, I guess. I guess it is a. Spacer. It's kind of small for a mouse pad, but my point is that it feels like a mouse pad. All the stuff here, the material. You have your instruction manual. Not much to it, but I do like the white, blue, and black color scheme. It's my favorite color scheme in the world. You have the micro USB for power. I'm glad it comes with it, not like I need it. I have a ton of these cables, but it's good to have it nonetheless. I think this is a Power adapter. Yeah. So it's a two prong power adapter. You could so you don't need to put it into a USB port. So that's good. HDMI cable. We we have a ton of these, don't we? If we're all Gamers with bunches of systems and other electronics. 
Silica gel. Don't eat. Ha ha ha. This looks really cool. Look at this. It's the master system adapter. It's clear. You can see all the insides. I really like that. I don't have any master system games. I thought about getting a master EverDrive, but I there aren't many games I would want to play for it. And all the emulations, a lot of emulation sites are down. So I, I wouldn't know if I could even find any games for it. And I don't have any nostalgia for it. Like many people, I grew up with the NES. I really like all the text here. Analog, MS adapter. It's very nice. I like how it's sealed in plastic. So this plastic won't be coming off anytime soon. As far as I'm concerned. So that's it for the contents of this box. Kind, there's kind of way to put the manual back in. You have these little slots here. It kind of fits, but this HDMI cable is in the way, so it's not completely centered. So that's that could drive me cr my OCD mind crazy but we won't let that happen today so this is not closing properly so there's a little bump from the hdmi cable okay this now this is a little better a little flatter we'll move the box away for now let's get on to the rest of the build So months ago, I got another Mega EverDrive because I wanted to get a white one to go with this. So it's probably a waste of money, but aesthetics, it's one of my core values. Ha ha ha. So I bought this at Stone Age Gamer. You can customize a lot of different things with some of the EverDrives. Not all of them. Like, you could go really in-depth with the Super Nintendo EverDrive and the, this, the Mega EverDrive. For the Mega Drive, Sega Genesis. Let us, uh, let us move this to the side. Let us open this. Oh. Look at that! It's a white Mega EverDrive! Oh yes! I already put an SD card in here. Now I wanted to know if it looked better with this blue sticker on and I think it probably does how does it look versus yeah I really like this better so I'm gonna put this blue sticker on hopefully I get it on very good, very neatly. Okay. Yes. Here we go. I really like that look now. White and blue and black. Let's see how it fits. Okay. One final piece of the puzzle. 
My white 8-bit do controller, M32.4G wireless. Oh, yes. I've, I've been hearing or reading that some people have trouble with this controller, but I, I don't. I don't use 2.4G Wi-Fi. I use old very old Wi-Fi. Let's see. Oh yes. Plogaton. Plogaton. One, two, three. That seems good. And you have it's a white system. Not Caucasian, but the color white. This is a very apple-like look, which I like. Here we go. Seeing all these boxes, you might think this is an advertisement, but it's not. It's just, this is the full picture. So we are back. So I hope you've all enjoyed my unboxing video to get you know, a more in-depth review. Check out GameSack, My Life in Gaming, Metal Jesus, Modern Vintage Gamer, Re-Res. People like that. Have a great day.